The brazen thief who held up a postal worker and her husband in a violent heist has now been on the run for more than 15 hours. Surveillance video showing the suspect jump out of a white minivan with a gun in his hand. Police say he got away with more than $100,000. CBS 2's Ali Bauman live at the scene in the Parkchester section of the Bronx with the latest on this investigation tonight. Ali. Christina Mori's police are pouring through surveillance videos and traffic cameras to trace down this suspect's getaway route. Investigators believe this was an inside job. The suspect knew what time this post office opens, knew that there would be money in the vault, and knew enough to take not only the money orders, but the specialized printer as well. The post office on Castle Hill Avenue closed its gate early Tuesday after federal investigators spent hours combing through the crime scene. We are trying to locate and apprehend the individual responsible for this crime. Surveillance video shows a white minivan park in front of the post office around 6 a.m. The driver seems to climb in the back seat where he waits for about an hour. That's when a postal employee holding the umbrella arrives to open the office with the help of her husband. The employee goes inside and her husband turns to leave. Then the suspect jumps out of the minivan and goes in the post office. Police say the employee screams and you can see her husband run back over where the suspect holds him at gunpoint and drags him inside. Their sources tell CBS 2 the suspect ordered the employee to open the safe and pistol whipped her husband. After about 10 minutes, you can see the suspect carry a bag back to the minivan and drive off. They should have security at all times in all these post offices, especially when they're opening the month. Asking for anonymity, another postal employee told us workers are supposed to have a manager with them when opening. They're supposed to come in the morning and open the station with the employees, and they don't. They do not ever, ever. You should have your supervisor and your manager there to assist you in getting into work safely. Authorities say the suspect got away with $112,000 in cash, 10 boxes of blank money orders, and the special printer for money orders. This is really a, a thrill-seeker crime where this guy is just aching to go to prison. Ralph Salento is a retired NYPD detectives commander and a professor of police science at John Jay College. Other than the cash, uh, what he took is incredibly traceable. All of those money orders are incredibly traceable, uh, and things leave an electronic footprint everywhere. If you, if you cash or deposit one of those money orders, it's going to come back and leave a trace. The employee and her husband are expected to be okay, though their friends told us the two are traumatized. When asked about safety protocols, a spokesperson for the Postal Service simply said that the safety of their employees is a top priority. We're live in the Parkchester section of the Bronx. Allie Bauman, CBS 2 News. All right, Allie, thank you.